Nick Cannon Mornings, Power 106. It's time for up close and personal conversations. Yes, close conversations with people that I admire. Young fixtures in the game. Young bosses doing their thing. And this young man is all of the above and so much more. I feel like he's the, the next generation. He's one of the voices of the West that's making it happen. One take, Jay. What's good, my guy? Wait, hold up. Come on, man. We in this <laughs> motherfucker bright and early. <laughs> early. This ain't really your time. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Yo, so, man, tell me, man, like, obviously, we chopped it up. We worked together and stuff. Uh, but just for those who don't know, how did it all happen for you, man? Because I feel like just your style, your your whole wave is kind of like people are starting to, like, catch on and, and do your whole vibe. And, but, like, you you kind of hit the pavement grinding on your own. Uh, Yeah, Uh, really... I wasn't even in the music at first, like all the homies, cause one take, it's like it ain't really, it wasn't naturally like just a rap group. It was just like the squad, like the homies. So yeah. my homies was rapping, one take Quan and one take uh, Teezy, and then I was playing football and shit. This like uh, fresh first year out of high school. Yeah. So um, God damn. so um, they was rapping. So they always used to be like. Man, just get on the song. Just try it. Just try. I'm like, no, bro. Like, that ain't me. Like, yeah. So then probably like after like, I want to say probably like another year. Really? Or probably like maybe close to it, though. Like, we, was just, we used to always be just chilling at uh, Bro House. We was never in the studio or nothing. We just in a small, like, bro room. Like, yeah. small room. Uh, he got the setup in the closet. And he made beats. So All right, right. we didn't really have to go nowhere for nothing. Yeah. So uh, one day I just tried it. And then we put it out, and then, like, people was fucking with my part. So yeah. they was fucking with it. So they, like, uh, so I'm, like, I mean, it really was just fun. I'm, like, all right, this sound cool. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. I didn't think it, like, think it was, like, hot shit or nothing. But yeah. when I seen the views and all that, I'm, like, okay. Because, like, this is, a, like, before, like, literally, now everybody rapping. This was yeah. before it ends. So, yeah. I, like, I'm looking at other people's views on SoundCloud. They getting, like, four, five hundred. We already had, like, a thousand yeah. a couple yeah. days. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. Like, might as well just keep doing it. Yeah. And then we was always, like I said, they used to always be in a room recording. So, but we used to be doing like 10 songs like Damn. every day. Like Damn. just On for the grind, fun, for real. Like, yeah. So I had no choice but to get good at that. <laughs> yeah. And I, I literally rap how I talk. Like I talk a lot of shit. So I just <laughs> come out like that. Yeah, yeah. Now that's fine. Growing up in Compton, man, tell, tell me about that. Like, yeah, you said like probably sports was your outlet, but everybody know what Compton is and, yeah. and coming up out there. How was that for you? I mean, honestly, I feel like it's like any other ghetto, if that's what you want to call it. But, like, I don't really see it as, like, bad to me because, like. That's where you grew yeah, up. Yeah, like, it, it's just normal to me. But uh, I'm low, and I'm I'm like a, like a hella, I don't know, like, everybody, like, attract to me. So, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the gangbanger. I got family members that gangbang and stuff, like, obviously, friends, whatever. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. That never was just my thing. Like, I don't get the point of it or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, even though, like, you around it or whatever, it's, it's what you, it's the energy you, you bring. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, And, like, even, I don't know, like, nobody never really just approached me with none of that. It's yeah. like, everybody, I don't know, I just want to say, not everybody, of course, <laughs> you ain't going to get along with everybody in the world, but, like, probably 90% of people I encounter, like, they just fuck with me. Yeah, you a good dude, man, at the end of the day. And, I mean, jumping into this music game, like, is it all it's cracked up to be? I mean, like, is it, like, because... You young, man. You still 23, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so to know, like, to come straight from, you know, obviously just being a young dude in Compton to now being a, a artist that's known globally, is this is is this it? Uh, yeah, I say it's it if you if you in it for the right reasons. Like, I ain't really in it to be like looking for like big artists to be friends with and all that. Right, right. I just stick with my same circle and. Right. I really like performing because I'm, yeah. I'm like a hella character. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really what I like. So so you you, you getting what you want to get out of it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh, another thing, uh, it's better than working a nine to five. You <laughs> actually doing some fun shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. People don't be people don't know like it's hard as hell to be an artist. Like it's damn near low key. Every night is low key sleepless if you really grinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah real talk. But, I'd rather be sleepless than working a graveyard shift because I, I used to work. I worked a graveyard shift for like, like a year and a half. Work, cause like that's right one of the questions we usually up. ask. Like, what's your worst job or all that? So you would say the graveyard shift. Hell yeah. Doing what? Uh, I was working at FedEx. Oh Picking shit. up boxes, 
Think and about the graveyard that. Graveyard shit. I, look, I already I'm not a sleeper. I already don't sleep. So I and I had a weird like schedule. Like we had to uh, be there. Our shift started at one. Right. So uh, it was like from like one to little low key whenever. Right. So you already I'm already <laughs> sleepy. To the boxes was exactly. all packed. I'm <laughs> sleepy. It's nighttime, and it's cold. And I'm picking up heavy ass boxes. And yeah. back then, like I was like hella skinny. So. Right, right. That was good for the football though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I still had a little strength. You yeah, know me? but yeah, that was out. Yeah, I so, felt like I was like I said I was working there for like a year, a year and a half. But I felt like I had age like five knees years. Was bad and shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> I hear you. So let's talk about you know your career now. Let's talk music for a second. Goat, tell me what that's all about. Goat. That's really, it's. I, I'm gonna let people take it how they want to take it for the for the most part for the uh, the name the title of the project. But uh, you got a new acronym for it though. Come on, man. Yeah, well, the body, I'm, but look, you gotta let them take it and run with it for a minute. <laughs> the, uh, but the body of music though, it's um, I for sure came with some new sounds. Uh, like I got uh mostly for the most part the same producers. Uh, the Hip Mob, Loaded Great. Ron Ron, the producer, Bruce 24K, Ace to Face. Um, and that's, oh, shout out Mike Crook. He on there too. Yeah. Uh, what's out the joint him. What's the joint you the most excited about off of GOAT? Automatically, just off the back, I'm going to say Arco 2. Really? Yeah, because that, that's like one of the songs that like hella blew me up. So, yeah. And like at first, when I made the Arco 2, um, I, you know how uh, I usually put up a video on Instagram of me freestyling a song. In the car, that's how I test out my music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, when I did it, I'm like, damn, I don't feel like this shit. I'm finna have to redo this. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. then I'm like, the homie like, nah, bro, just put it up. The homie dead, he like, just put it up. I put it up, and they like, what the fuck? We ain't never heard no part two that was topping the first one. So I'm yeah. like, yeah, are y'all rocking with this like, like that? Like that? Yeah. Like, I knew it was hot, but <laughs> I didn't think it was like, like that, like that. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, that's probably like the most viewed video. Well, not no more, but it was like yeah. the most viewed video on my Instagram for a long time. Yeah, so yeah. Um, obviously, man, you mad charismatic. You got crazy energy. And like you you kind of rep for the West real heavy. Like even in your conversation, like even how you talk, yeah. your music. Like what is that just you? It's just Compton or is like just your, your slang, your terminology, how you put it on the record? I don't even know. I just all I know how to be is me. Right. So if I don't know, cause like how you said my slang, I don't even hear no slang. <laughs> I'm just putting it out. <laughs> right. Real. Nah, that's that's real business. Cause you you can hear it all over the project. And again, like I said, there's I, I see people even emulating how you how you jumping on the wait, hold nah, on. Yeah, like, for like, sure. No, like, for sure, for sure, for sure. Does that is that flattering to you? Yeah, like I mean I take it. I as see like, these young kids singing your parts at the high schools and talking like you, like. Not for sure. I, f I take it as like, like with the way hold up though, like that's the signature for sure. Like soon as somebody see me, it's like, wait, hold up, like they just <laughs> automatically say it. Like it's kind of funny, but uh, mm, like other like as far as other rappers like trying to emulate and like do what I do, I don't really like trip because it's like. The real thing is always gonna be better. Than yeah, the, you get what I'm saying. How'd you come up with the way? Hold up, like what was you just? It was an accident. Like, uh, like I said, back in that room, <laughs> right. uh, uh, the homie, uh, and uh, when we was recording in the closet. So, uh, like, hey, wait, hold up, nigga, this you in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, nah, we was doing it. Look, it's on, it's on SoundCloud too. If y'all watching this, go, go, uh, go to our SoundCloud, One Take Boy SoundCloud. Go to the bottom. It's a song called Feeling That. That's the first song I said, wait, hold up on. I don't know. Like, it was just like the, the beat was going, and then right before I started rapping my verse, I just said, first I just said, wait, hold up. I didn't say I'm finna turn this bitch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said, wait, hold up. And then uh, I'm like, nah, do that again, do that again. they like, nah, that's fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it, I just kept saying it after that. And then it was like probably the song after that, I was just like, wait, hold up. I'm finna turn it. Because I'm like hyper, yeah. so it, it just fits. So. I'm finna turn this bitch up. Like, it was no thought, like, I need a slogan or something. Like, once I heard it on the song, I'm like, yeah, that's the little. Yeah, yeah. That's the little. Absolutely, man. And, and I got to say, man, you probably one of the most down-to-earth, just just cool youngsters in the game. Because a lot of youngsters, especially nowadays, they, that's on and doing their thing, they kind of they believe the smoke. You know yeah, what I mean? But, but you, you – Mad confident, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you super low-key and chill. Like, we've been in the studio. You pulled up 
Dolo yeah. came in, knocked it out, kicked it, and then just like on some just cool shit, like what you don't see anymore. Where where does that come from? You just uh, somebody I, raised you right. No, nah, <laughs> and I feel like I really feel like like I don't know. I don't want to like. I don't really like like trying to like knock people off their high horse because I mean you supposed to feel yourself. You supposed to have that swag, that confidence. But yeah. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people wasn't that nigga before they was that nigga. <laughs> right, so right. they're not used so to it's it. False. Like I was always like. You no, was they, always I feel like cool. they're not used to it. Like right. they're not used to like the popularity. That, everybody like like I was all like I told you everybody liked me. I'm you was always care. cool. So bro, I'm telling you, since I was a little kid, like I always was like popular. I now, can I see wouldn't it. even say popular. <laughs> I'm gonna say just people are attracted yeah, to you. I ain't gonna lie, like in school I was like the class clown type. Yeah. But like not the one that was getting kicked out. Like they was still they wasn't the getting, teachers fucked with you. Yeah, they wasn't getting me in trouble because they love me so much. <laughs> there so. it is. Let's t- let's talk one take, boys. I mean, it, it's still squad, y'all. Cause cause when when it happens, when one person you know blows before, how does that how does that work with the rest of the crew? Uh, nah, everybody like just grind. Like nah, we still like always together. Like still make music, whatever. Yeah. Like everybody just like trying to get their own thing going. Yeah. Cause yeah. like I mean, like say. Uh, like my shit start taking off. I mean, like I got my like the fans like me for my music. Like yeah. I mean, of course I'm gonna still post the homies, but like I can't make nobody like go listen to the homie. You can't be out here strong arming people. <laughs> right, right. You feel me? It gotta be natural. So, but everybody's still grinding. Like uh, Quan uh dropping hella projects, and then like w- like one take Ocho. He like kind of like me. He probably like was the Biggest sleeper. He literally just started making music a couple months ago, but like he low key on the like the singing like a vibe type. Yeah, yeah. But like I don't know, bro. Bro got some shit. Yeah, like we like take what movement the, is yeah, real. Like what the fuck? Yeah, bro got some serious music. Hey man, just well, rapping. Goat is out right now. Uh, this is one take J doing it heavy, but as you know, man, you you on my show. I got the vest on. I gotta shoot from the hip. Gotta put you in that firing squad. Asking you these questions, you tell me, you know what, whatever it is, as honest you can answer them. Let's get to it. Yeah. First question, love the fear. Which one would one take J rather be? Love. I was about to say that's easy for you. Yeah. Everybody already love you for sure. There it is. Uh, your biggest fear. My biggest fear. Being broke. I hear you. Best piece of advice you've ever received? Be yourself. Worst piece of advice you've ever received? Quit. (laughs) (laughs) Facts, facts. Favorite movie of all time? Oh, I ain't gonna lie, Matilda. (laughs) (laughs) Matilda? For real. That's your favorite joint of all time? I got got other movies, (laughs) but like I fuck with that movie. This nigga from Compton, yo, my favorite movie, Matilda. For sure. Finna turn this bitch up. Shout out there, make a part two. Throw me in that thing. (laughs) There it is. Best piece of advice. Oh, I already asked you that one. You threw me with the fucking Matilda (laughs) shit. Uh, (laughs) You on an island, you only can take three things. What you taking? Three things? Damn. Uh... I ain't even, I'm gonna say phone. But I ain't even gonna take the phone. We gotta vibe out. All right, let me see. I'm gonna take. I need some AC because if we're on an island or a fan, it might be kind of hot. No yeah, cap. Yeah, I feel you. I feel um, you. You gonna take a whole air conditioning unit? Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, damn. I ain't gonna. Bro, it might sound bougie. Take it how you want to, but I'm taking. One good pair of shoes. Yeah, you got I don't it. like the beach and all yeah. that. Bro. I gotta have I'm sand. We you don't ain't rock. fucking with it. I feel we you. We don't rock. Uh, so uh, air conditioning unit and some brand new sneakers. Sneakers. <laughs> yeah. One more thing. Take a little chick. Yeah, you got to. Vibe. Why not? You got the AC. You got the breeze. You need the breezy. Yeah, you need a vibe. You always gotta keep a vibe. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. You on death row? You only could have. Or this is your last meal. What's your last meal? Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Oh, no cap. Yeah, See, look, no, the sunrise. Look, people probably know by now. I said it in a lot of interviews, but I'm a picky eater. Like, bro, I literally only eat chicken. For sure. <laughs> like, or if you got, if y'all got kids, I probably eat like your kids. Chicken strip, pizza. Yeah, just there it is. There it is. Roscoe's your last meal. One album you can listen to for the rest of your life. What's that? That new NBA young boy. Mm. For sure. Really? It got every vibe on there. Cause like he, like I'm turned up. It got the turned up songs on there. Then he got the little uh, 
together? Like, he yeah. harmonizing this shit. I don't know. It's just good to the ears. Like, I feel like it's literally every vibe on there. For All sure. Right. And yeah. then we talked about your worst job ever. Yeah, yeah that's FedEx, FedEx. Graveyard Shift. Cancel Fa- Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite cuss word. It's the B word. I was about sure. to say, bitch. I was it's like, you better turn this bitch I got up. a song on there on uh, the album. Uh, go listen. Uh, it's on there. Yeah. It's just called Bitch. It's called Bitch. <laughs> See, look, I was trying to be PG 13, nah, but it's yeah. called Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Guilty Pleasure. Mm. Something you, you love that you know you probably shouldn't love. Gambling. Word. But the crazy part, you want to know what's what's really, like, I really, you really learn when you start, like, coming up in life. I stopped, like, well, like, I always been, like, a gamble. Like, see, I told you, like, well, growing up in Compton, you know you're going to be in some bullshit. I don't really call, call it bullshit, but it's not a good habit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was, like, the young nigga shooting dice with the older niggas. Yeah, like, yeah. But, yeah, probably gambling for sure. But what I was about to say Ever since, like, I got money, I haven't gambled one time. <laughs> that's smart. That's crazy as fuck, though. That, that's but smart. But I haven't even had the urge to. There it is. Childhood celebrity crush. Um, yeah, somebody you was growing up, you was like, Yo. yeah. I'm really trying to, I'm trying to pinpoint it. Let me see. <laughs> It'd be a few of them. You can throw them out there. Oh, uh, I'm going to say, we're going to go H lane. Beyonce. Okay. That's so Raven. What? Raven yeah. Samo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he had that look That's in his eye. Like, little. She was he like, good yeah. To me. <laughs> uh, who else? Shoot, them two right there is fire. Not on me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Favorite cereal growing up? I eat cereal. See, look, I told you I eat like a kid, bro. Yeah. My mom used to get so mad she used to cook, and I'd be walking through the house with a bowl of cereal. All day. Uh, probably Fruity Pebbles, though. Word. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. I ain't mad at that. That's that's okay. definitely that's just a look right there with the colorful milk mm-hmm. going all the way up. Nah, yeah, and I drink. I like the the milk at the Afterwards. end is the best part. Of the <laughs> sweet like, at that point. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Well, you know what? You know that's how we always end the close conversations. Fire and squad. One word that describes one take. J. Turn. Turn. For Better sure. turn this bitch up. For sure. Y'all see it. It's Nick Cannon Mornings. Power 106. This has been an incredible, up close, personal conversation with the turn. One take, Jay. Wait, hold up. We just turned this bitch up. Yeah. <laughs>